Hello, welcome back. Before we jump into the different ways to invest, we need to take note that the recording here are not financial advice. Please make your own investment decision. Also, the crypto market is super volatile. So for example, Bitcoin was at 63,000 in April 13. Now in May, it dropped to a low of 29,000 and now it's back to 47,000. So again, super volatile. Now that you are aware of the risk, let us get started. Now there are five different ways to invest with cryptocurrency. I'll go through each of them individually. Now we have the buy and sell. This is is a screenshot of the Binance exchange like the typical spot market you can go in set an order price and buy the crypto or you can go in set a sell price to sell the crypto next we have the leverage trading so leverage trading you have your derivative tools the futures the options and remember these are leverage tools and the risks are super high together with the volatile market you need to have a very very high risk appetite personally I do not touch this instrument next we have the NFTs the non-fungible tokens this is interesting because in in the past there was no certain way to prove that a digital media is real or in fact one of the kind but now they can mean the digital media onto a blockchain now for example jack dorsey ceo of twitter his first tweet was minted onto the ethereum blockchain and sold for 2.9 million and right now we are having the nft boom a piece of rock drawing was sold for 100k artists making digital art are all super pumped right now and if you are interested you can check out open where you can buy and resell your nft you can even create your nft now if you are a digital artist watching this i suggest you to go and take a look at OpenSea and maybe to earn extra income for yourself next we have yield farming for example this is a screenshot of a pancake swap now you can provide liquidity to the cake and bnb pair so what you will do you will deposit 200 dollars worth of cake and 200 dollars worth of bnb into the cake and bnb pool then in return you get 55 percent apr there are risks for such activities because you are exposed to the price risk of two crypto lastly we have lending and borrowing now you can think of this as a bank now in this screenshot is an example of Aave it functions like a bank you can go deposit your crypto and you get an interest you can also go to Aave and borrow crypto this is another example I personally deposited 2.5k into the anchor protocol the APY is at 19.47% now I'm expected to get an interest of 493 UST at the end of the year we can never find this kind of interest rate in our local banks in the next lesson we will see how to buy and sell crypto in the Singapore market. See you. Bye-bye.